At this point, after having COVID for a week, I can't breathe very well. <coughs> Brienne is feeling quite a bit better, and Dayton's kind of coming out of it too. Robin's not improving. She's not improving. And finally, our doctor just says, take her to the hospital. People go to the hospital to die. I was crying and praying and because I was, like, scared that she might die. I didn't want to say goodbye to my kids. I didn't want to say goodbye because I didn't want it to be the last time I saw them. They wouldn't let me go in with her. Now I'm blue as can be. So it's only one person at a time, and I kind of wish I'd admitted myself, you know, because I do have it, no doubt about that. And maybe I need a chest X-ray, because, you know, my nights of sleep and my breathing sort of suck. But I knew that they'd just separate us, so she see how she fares. If I was feeling worse, I'd probably have myself, I'd check myself in, you know, but it seems like a busy hospital. It seems like a waste for me to be going in there and and playing sick and there's people that might be dying or Robin who's, um, you know, passing out. So I'm gonna check in with her and see what's going on. I've been here at the hospital for, I think, six, seven hours waiting for a room. They're backed up and have a lot of beds. I'm sitting in the truck. There's nothing I can do. I can't, I'm not, not going to be in the hospital with her. They wouldn't let me wait there with her, wouldn't let me go with her, didn't know what to do. So after quite a while, I get on the phone with her. She sounds pretty bad. I'm like, she says, I'm sitting here just wasting away. They've done an EKG on me and they've, um, done chest x-ray and taken urine. I'm just waiting to see the doctor. I think that I was sitting there and wondering if she was gonna live. 